Imagine you now have your manuscript done. It's been through the editor, you're ready to hit the publish button. But you got this lingering question in your brain, now what? How is anyone gonna find out about this book? You know, maybe you have a few family and friends to tell about it, but what if you don't have a platform? What if you don't have a big audience to offer this book to? Well, whether you've published a book or not, or whether you're planning on writing and publishing a book, here's what you want to do after you hit the publish button if you want to see your book sold. So if you don't care about selling books, if it's just to say you're an author, well, then you can ignore this video. But if you want to impact readers' lives, if you want to have a book that people actually read and enjoy and tell their family and friends about, then pay attention because I'm going to share with you the Aspire method to get your book sold. All right, so what Aspire is, is an acronym. So the first piece of Aspire is A, which stands for ads. There's a lot of great book marketing advertising platforms out there. So you know you have things like Facebook ads. Then you also have platforms like Amazon ads. And you have plenty of other book promotion websites out there that will promote your book. So whether you're selling on Amazon, whether you're selling on your own website or a combination thereof, leverage ads to get your book in front of brand new readers. The second piece is S and that's social media. Now I'll admit I don't do a ton on social media, but if you're sitting there watching this video, listening to me, then clearly there's an impact that social media has in order to be able to reach new people. So social media is another way that you can reach an audience. Again, people you know, as well as people that you don't know. The next piece is P, which stands for platforms. And there's one particular platform, which uh, Hal Elrod, if you don't know, he's, he wrote the book, The Miracle Morning. And I love the idea in this book, the concept of The Miracle Morning. And I remember I was watching a talk with Hal and he said that he sold over a million books and he boiled down, he said there was one thing that was more powerful, more effective, I'm paraphrasing, than any other book marketing strategy. And I, you know, I was curious, what is this, this one thing that he did? And he had been on TV and, and been on you know, these big, big platforms, but he said that didn't do as much for him as podcast. So... Platforms can include podcasts, it can include live stages, virtual stages, it can include going into publications, guest blogging on different publications. The idea is someone else has built an audience and you're going in there in front of an existing audience. You don't have to build the audience, you just go to someone else's audience. All right, and the next piece is I, and that's influencers. Again, influencers have built an audience. And think about your own experience. How many books have you purchased because someone else recommended it? I went through my Amazon purchase history and I found probably about 80% of books that I purchased came from a recommendation. I'm sure there's some sort of 80-20 principle going on there. So how can you get influencers to promote and share your book to their audience? All right, now the next piece is R. And if you have influencers share your book, you can also have your readers share your book. So once you get some initial readers, how can you motivate and inspire them to want to share your book? So you might have seen things like this. You have people you know, taking pictures on social media with a book. Well, you can you know, motivate people to do that. You can offer them incentives for sharing your book with their friends and followers. All right, and now the final piece is E. And this is really what it all boils down to for me. I, I say your number one goal all comes back to E. It's this E piece, and what it stands for is email. Okay, so if you want to sell books or if you want to sell anything else of yours, your courses, your coaching, your consulting, it, it really comes down to having an email list. That is your tribe. Yeah, sure, Facebook followers are nice, but you don't own them. Okay, you can get Instagram followers, but you don't own them, right? And what I mean by own them, is it's not, it sounds kind of bad like you're owning people not in, not in a bad way but in the sense that you have the ability to market to them whenever you want whereas if facebook shuts down a group or, or an account you can't do anything about that if their algorithms change you can't do anything about it it's traffic that you own and control it's email so again you have uh, a which stands for ads s for social media p for platforms i for influencers r for readers and e for email Just just about everything can boil down to one of those categories. Now, if you want some help with your book writing and marketing, ideally, you figure this out before you hit the launch button, 
okay? So if you want help getting this set up for success, so when you are ready to launch, you already have podcasts lined up, then I invite you to check out bestsellersecrets.com. There you can pick up a free copy of my book, Why Authors Fail, and get more tips and strategies to help you implement the Aspire Method to your book marketing. Take care.